All right, guys, are you ready to take a walk on the wild side? Because I've got a banger of a story here. This is amazing. Bombshell information about the Nazca mummy. So get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, you remember this video I shared with you uh, about the Nazca mummies, uh, the, the Tomb Raiders uh, taking these pictures in these, this, these video. And this apparently is a video of a, a living being, supposedly. Um, and there's other living beings, including uh, a, a, a full-size mantis being, like nine-foot-tall mantis being or whatever it is, uh, that they actually fight and kill, um, you know, and, and other beings besides. Um, you know, it just seems so incredible that this could possibly be real. Um, but a look, if you look very closely, you can see uh, facial movements of this, of this being. Um, you know, if this is a movie prop, um, you know, uh, if you can show me the movie, then, then great. Uh, but it's, um, you know, really compelling footage. I mean, it, yeah, look, look, you can see the little facial movements of it and the, the eye, uh, opening and closing. Um, you know, it's really interesting. I mean, I, I really wasn't sure what to make of this. I was thinking, I was leaning toward it being a fake. I was strongly leaning toward it being a fake. Uh, it didn't make much sense to me that it could be a fake. Uh, just because of the budget required, um, you know, for the, these uh, Tomb Raiders, these uh, Vaqueros or Waqueros, uh, sometimes called cowboys. Um, you know, that's what Vaquero means. Um, and, uh, but, you know, a lot of props uh, would have been required for this. And for what purpose? I, you know, uh, I, don't th I don't think they need to do, to, to make, videos like this for to sell stuff on the black market i just i don't uh i don't i don't you know who knows who knows i mean look at this pyramid guys i mean look at this crazy pyramid i mean just take a gander at this thing i mean they would have had to create an alien language uh for this thing would they have gone to the trouble uh, to make a, a, a trailer, uh, if you will, to sell stuff on the black market. Uh, you know, would they have made all these props, including this big golden pyramid, uh, with writing on it? Uh, and they would have had to come up with the writing. Uh, I just I just don't see that. I just don't see that. Uh, but hey, let me know what you think. But I have new information. New information. Yeah, there we go. There's the full-size mantis uh, being fighting the guy. And uh, then apparently they, they kill the mantis being. And, um, you know, you can, you can see its body. Um, there it is right there. You know, very sad if that's a uh, real, real mantis being. Uh, and there's, there's others. There's, there's um, you know, there, there's this guy right here. Um, and there's this guy right here. A living being. So, you know, possibly, possibly. And, you know, here's the tombs and stuff. And there, there's other videos as well. Uh, let's see. There's this guy right here. So could, could any of this be real is, is the question. And I, I have some new information and I will share that. We will get to that. But first I want you to know what we're talking about. Um, I mean, is, is this a real non-human that we're looking at i mean is it grainy blurry footage i know uh we do get an explanation for that in the video i'm about to show you um that there's a possibly electromagnetic interference uh in these caves which you know i guess makes sense uh, you know here's here's another one here's another uh potentially living being um, a Nazca, a Nazca being, um, yeah. Okay. All right. So let's get to the interview. Um, but I'll, I'll link to these, uh, and a lot of these you can find on, uh, the Tomb Raider's own site or one of the Tomb Raider's own sites. Lance Lott, I believe is what he calls himself. Um, and he's got a lot of, a lot of these videos on his site. And okay. So here is the video with Alan Perez Munoz, uh, a researcher who had first hand access to these uh, uh, vaqueros or vaqueros, uh, these tomb raiders. 
and got some really uh, juicy inside information. Now, it says uh, right there, his name, Juno uh, Ferez, but his actual name is Alan Perez Munoz. And uh, it's in Spanish. And I don't know how else to present the information other uh, to you if you're watching it on your phone, other than just to read you the translation. It's 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 a long video. It's a two two hours and twenty minutes long. So I'm only going to do a few minutes of the the most pertinent parts here. Um, so bear with me with my uh, uh, my own particular translation of the auto translation, which is not great. Uh, of this two and a half hour long interview with uh, uh, Mr. Munoz. Okay. La, la, la. All right. But I got the, but I got the photos separately because, like me, I am not a person who simply informs myself of what I see. For one, if I if not. I'm also doing research, so that's why within my file, it can be said that I have the best file than most of the people who have investigated independently. So we don't know what could have happened to it. If not, we know... Uh, okay, here we go. Here we don't know how something is peeking out there, but we know that it is, yes, that is, there is a reptile. You can see its head, its little eyes, its small arms, its torso. Uh, but here I am showing the photo, but there is a video of this, which Mario is further ahead on the stone, and he is speaking with three fingers, pointing out that there is the three-fingered zero uh, when the camera shows that the reptile is there. And this one, one on the left, and in the center is as if he had a wound and he is covering his hand. But I say it because there is a video of this. He is working alone. As it is, this is a being who had been cornered. They had cornered him in a corner. So this being, as if wanting to protect himself, first raises his arm. And then, as you can see, they don't hurt him. So he starts to lower his arm. So there are like 15 photos uh, I only sent 32 uh, in Jakea in the previous photo that is seen in the dark. I have turned up the light and the insect being comes out today from which here on the other side it is seen better. And then that is on this one. It is seen half dark. I turned up the light so you can see the being. Here you could see the green, the eyes, not everything. And the other blue beings that were the ones, beings from the guard of the treasure room. In that room where you can see the gold pieces on the wall, this is the set. He was like that on guard. And you can see there that he has his little hat, also made of the same metal, possibly gold. But the glow, his body makes him look blue. It's really incredible i honestly now it's so hard to believe this is so also it's so difficult because he claimed to be the allies but i ask you but he's dead because they don't take him outside to take a proper photo no it is not that it is alive and it does not does not come out in the sun with the light uh, the roses are living beings that were there yeah, the translation is so bad, yes. I'm so sorry, but this is what we had to work with. Uh, they encountered living beings many times. That is why at the beginning, the living beings did not defend themselves. But later, it seems that they already, they held an internal meeting and decided to hunt down the humans who wanted to steal. That's why in the last confrontation that was known about the looters, that were doing in the citadel, two of them died, and one of them was taken to the depths, and one of them was killed there. What we are seeing, which is Alan, was a little scary, but what is it? It is the body of a giant being that is not human, but I mean, I see some kind of jaws on one side, and down here I see some kind of ribs, some hanging hands, you can see its eyes and nose and small mouth and a long head and a hand with very big fingers. 
Uh, honestly, I'm not really seeing much. I'm seeing that thing that may be a head uh, or a helmet or something. And those are supposed to be fingers or something? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, here we go. And that's all. This is fine. But, well, it was a skeleton. Let's see. In this one we have here, there you can also see the shadow of the person who was filming. And they find this being on guard. And there you can see that the being first grabs his neck. And then here he stops his arm. And some people venture to say that the doll is so hard to believe. Here we have the head of a cowboy on the left. Yes, that is the shadow because they were always backlit. That's why I do not know. You, I, I know you can't see them. And here they have killed some people. They have killed one. You can see the difference in the position of the whacker's legs. Or one is almost straight in here as it turns out. He flexes his legs in the same body are two different photos. And we also see a brick wall behind CSS. And there are more photos of this. There is another one that can be seen from another angle. And this, uh, this one seems to me like some kind of cyclops. Because they told us he sees himself with a cyclops. But he has his mouth open and angry with ink, beak, ears it's not just in the last excursions yeah the, the translations are really bad guys i'm sorry uh, it seems that the beings have been notified that they were going to go ahead and reject the humans that were getting involved my goodness because the truth is that i don't know sometimes i wonder if it was because of the gold the interest of the plunder or the fear of what may be down there. The prosecutor's office or the Ministry of Culture do not take action on the matter. I don't know what you think. I think that they do know about the place because there is a part of what I understand what that NASA had already gone in advance and had mapped the entries. So it turns out that after... This, the ministry already hired two people to start defaming. That, that is, the discovery does not give us anything like the man who was in Germany. Well, it was the scholar, anthropologist, zoologist, Carlos. Then this one from the infinite, infinite universe, who also received letters from Johnny and to discredit the latter's discovery. There was also this one who is defaming the discovery, and then the last one who did not want to go to the prosecutor's office. It was Anthony Choi, but that's not why he began to deny uh, the existence since this was real. Alan, uh, Lancelot here, this is the, the interviewer. Lancelot is saying that the, at the beginning, the Wakeros came in and killed and were a little out of control, but he says that now they don't kill those beings but rather they capture them alive to sell them. As is clear, which is why in the footage you can see that there is an injured person on the ground who is clutching his neck and the one in the photo that shows the gun in his face is, is hers. When he was lying on the ground there, they didn't, didn't want to kill him. They just wanted to keep him alive. Afterwards, this is an insect today from the footage that moves too much. So there, they told us that the insect, well, what it was doing was spitting and trying to defend himself, defend himself because they had cornered him. So that was before the same beings decided to expel the humans. Then when they realized that they were hunting these living beings, then the beings, this intratranian decided to fight against the humans who entered and there were two died as if fighting how those beings fight with what weapons that is in which they cornered the ones i hope they go and he is still not alive they took him to the depths it is not known how he died and the other one they did kill them my goodness uh and that's where the investigation stopped. So, okay, and then he goes on. Again, it's a two and a half hour long interview. 
but there you go. Some amazing, amazing information. You know, how much of this is credible? How much of it is real? I mean, he was kind of boots on the ground there talking to the uh, Wakeros uh, personally and uh, getting his own footage and his own pictures. Uh, he seems to have an intimate knowledge of what was going on and who the players were. And there's uh, other, other talk of some aspects of, of disinformation. Uh, yeah, they're, they're talking about, uh, you know, the electromagnetic interference. And here they're talking about uh, photo manipulation of, of one of these uh, uh, artifacts where it may have been damaged and then they use Photoshop to replicate the other half of it. Uh, they also talk about uh, possible disinformation with some of this stuff. Um, and, and there was a um, there was an item that one of the uh, Tomb Raiders was claiming was an alien, uh, but it was actually uh, yeah this right this item right here, uh, but it was actually part of a drone or something. And so there is disinformation uh, sprinkled among the real information. You know, how, how much is real, again, is hard to say. Um, but, um, uh, you know, the bodies are real. Uh, are there living beings? There's uh, apparently locals tell tales of there still being living beings in these caves. So could these beings have fought the Tomb Raiders potentially over gold? Uh, you know, that was one idea. Uh, was that, uh, you know, the Tomb Raiders were originally trying to get gold and that these beings were defending their gold. And, you know, possibly, I mean, the uh, Anunnaki are said to have created humans to mine gold. Uh, so potentially there is precedent for beings to be very interested in gold. Uh, you know, again, who knows about all of this? But you know what? It kind of makes sense, guys. It kind of It kind of makes sense to me that disclosure would come from the Mexican and South American uh, criminal underground. <laughs> uh, the one part of society that the UFO control group may not have complete lockdown on. Uh, this is how we get our information. And, you know, because these are criminals, they are peppering in uh, hoaxes and stuff amongst this stuff. Um, uh, did they actually fight living beings uh, in these caves? Uh, you know, I, I don't know, but at the moment, I am not rejecting that that video. I'm not. I'm no longer saying it's a hoax uh, or that it's BS. I don't know what to make of it. It could well be legit, guys. That could be a legit video. Multiple videos, multiple videos of uh, living beings uh, that uh, were apparently possibly captured. Uh, you know, at first they were, uh, the Tomb Raiders were hostile to them and there was fighting and maybe even some Tomb Raiders died uh, and they were killing these beings. And then at a certain point they decided to capture them alive and uh, supposedly uh, sell them, I suppose, on the black market. And, you know, that, that's, that's what makes me think this is credible is that uh, you know, that that's how the disclosure would happen. It would come through the back door. We're not getting it through the front door. We're not getting it through the front door. But it could have come through the back door, through the through the underground. Uh, I mean, that seems as likely to me as anything, honestly. Uh, but, you know, these are criminals and they are, you know, they're, they're, they're not 100% honest 100% of the time. But they're also not movie prop manufacturers. Um, so, uh, you know, let me know what you think, but I encourage you to watch that full interview, uh, with Mr. Munoz, cause he has some really amazing, uh, information. And again, he was boots on the ground. Uh, you know, he, he, he knows the people, he knows the personalities uh, of the individual tomb raiders. And he has uh, a lot of interesting inside information on this stuff. I mean, is this an actual picture of a mantis being or some sort of insectile being? Uh, again, at the moment, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm still on the fence. I'm still on the fence. But, you know, if I had to take my temperature right now, I might be leaning toward this being real. Uh, but, you know, I mean, it looks so hokey. It looks so fake. But, you know, at the same time, what would it look like? What would it look like if it were real? 
you know, well, yeah, and this, I mean, it might look exactly like that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, here's the tombs. I mean, they were definitely on location. And there's, okay, here's, here's uh, I guess, a, a deceased being, uh, one of the, the nasty beings. Does that look anything like, yeah, and here's, here's another living being that they cornered. And here's another one, um, or the same one. Uh, yeah, does, does that look anything like that? Does that dead dead body uh, remains look anything like this living or potentially living being? Could this be an, a, a living example? And you can see it's long neck potentially. Uh, you know, we've been told that maybe the Nazca beings had retractable necks. Um, you know, could this be a Nazca being? Uh, one of the classic Nazca mummies? Uh, you know, I don't know, guys. I don't know, but uh, the the researcher, uh, Mr. Munoz, seems very credible. Uh, you know, again, he had intimate knowledge of the Tomb Raiders uh, in their activities and uh, was getting his own information and his own uh, photos and stuff. And uh, he, he seems very credible. But I will let you uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Uh, crazy video, guys. We got NASA involved mapping out locations uh, of these tombs. We've got Tomb Raiders ca uh, potentially capturing living beings and selling them, I guess, on the black market or hell, maybe to NASA. Uh, something like that. Or, you know, who knows, guys? This is bombshell crazy testimony from Mr. Munoz. I, I don't know what to make of it. Uh, but if you had to take my temperature right now i'm leaning toward this being possibly real guys but again let me know what you think thank you rob to uh for cluing me in on that fantastic interview uh with mr munoz uh and also lancelot's channel uh so you know great stuff i really appreciate it thank you uh again like subscribe let me know what you think uh, you know, if you want to support Cosmic Road in a bigger way, grab a t-shirt or a, uh, a coffee mug in the merch store or become a channel member. Channel members are rock stars. And I really appreciate you guys' support. Uh, meanwhile, there are plenty of other videos and I'll see you guys next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road signing out.